Today I want to talk about two very important things to know about if you are using a Windows machine for storing and editing your photographs. The first is how to format a hard drive. So if you're buying an external hard drive from the manufacturer and it's brand new, you open up out of the box, it oftentimes comes bundled with some software that you may or may not want. So what I like to do is as soon as I open up my hard drive out of the box, I like to format it, which wipes all that stuff off and gives you a clean slate. The other thing I want to discuss is how you go about changing the drive letters of your drives that you plug into your computer. So if you've been using Windows computers for a while, you probably know that depending on what order you plug things in, each device is assigned a letter. For example, usually the first thing that you plug into your computer will have the letter E or F, something along those lines. And that can get really frustrating when you're working with different external hard drives because if you don't plug them in the same order every time, Lightroom will see one hard drive as being different from the others. And that can cause a lot of problems, especially if you're going to back up your images. So I want to talk about firstly how to format a drive and secondly how to force the computer to always use the same letter for a given hard drive. So to do this, it's really quite simple. The way that I like to do it is go down to a file explorer window. And from there, on the left hand side, you should see this PC if you're using Windows 10. And if you do see that, I like to right click on that and go to manage. So we're right clicking on this PC, going to manage here. And it's probably going to ask if I'm sure that I want to do that. Nope, it just popped right up. Awesome. That takes us into this computer management section. From here, I'm going to go to disk management on the left. Now, from here, we have a list of all the different hard drives that are either inserted in your computer or plugged in externally or built into the system itself. And we can see here, here's disk zero. And we can see one of the partitions on this disk is my actual C drive, my internal hard drive. So we know that disk zero, this is all internal hard drive stuff. I don't really want to mess with that. You don't want to change letters or do anything to that. That should just stay as it is. But down here, I have disk one. And this says flash, and that's just the name of this flash drive. Yours will say probably, uh, I could say anything, whatever the manufacturer named the hard drive or flash drive. But we can see that it's currently the D drive. Now, if you're unsure of what device is which, I recommend just doing this one, one drive at a time. So for me, I like to unplug everything, plug in one drive at a time, and do the formatting that way. That way, disk zero will always or usually be your C drive, and disk one will be whatever you're plugging into it. So pretty straightforward. Here I've identified what drive it is that I would like to format. And in order to format it, all I have to do is right click on this drive. And you can right click anywhere in this big open area here. And I'm going to go to format. And it's going to ask me a few questions. Now this is very, very simple. First of all, it's going to ask me for a name. So I'm just going to call it, uh, say, flash for a flash drive, something simple. Now for file system, this is a little bit different depending on what you're doing. If you are formatting an external hard drive, like a big one terabyte or two terabyte drive that you're going to store your photographs on, I would definitely choose NTFS for that file system. Now, if you're choosing NTFS, do keep in mind that that hard drive is only going to work with Windows. It won't work on a Mac computer unless that Mac has special software installed on it, which is available. You can get a software that allows it to work with that. But by default, it's only going to work nicely with a Windows compu computer. Excuse me. If, on the other hand, you're formatting a flash drive or something that you are going to want to work with multiple computers on, maybe you want to transfer files from a Mac to a PC or vice versa, I would choose the one that is XFAT. XFAT will work with both systems, but it's not for large storage volumes. Like it's not for a big external hard drive. It's only for flash drives or smaller things like that. So we'll choose our file system. For allocation unit size, we can leave that as the default. That looks great. And then we want to make sure that perform a quick format is checked, just like I have it here. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to give me a little warning saying that it's going to erase everything. Formatting erases the hard drive. So if you are doing the format that it's giving you a warning, it's just telling you what you already know. So we'll hit OK here. It's going to think for a second. And boom, it's now been formatted. It's in the XFAT file system. And it's got the name flash like I determined. So that's all there is to it. If you're formatting something, you simply right click on the drive, go to format, and go from there. Now, the second thing I want to look at is how we change drive letters. So like I said before, when you plug a certain device into your computer, it's assigned a letter depending on what order it's plugged in. 
and that can form some big issues if you're using Lightroom and you plug drives in in a different order. Kind of creates some issues there. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to right click again on the same drive anywhere in that open area and this time I'm going to go to change drive letters and paths. And this is going to allow us to force the hard drive or the flash drive to always have the same letter when you plug it in. So that'll bring up this. I'm going to go to change and I can pick whatever letter I want. So I'm going to go with say the R drive. No reason for it. It's down toward the end of the alphabet. Sure, R sounds like a good letter. And I'm going to say OK. It's going to give me a warning that says things might not run correctly. That's fine. We can say yes. And it's going to think for a second. And we can see if I close out of the drive that just opened. Now it's still called Flash, but now it's R. So forevermore on this PC, when I plug in my flash drive, it will be the letter R. And that's super, super awesome. So if you have an external hard drive that you're storing your photographs on, you're going to want to give that a letter that will always be the same. Now do keep in mind, if you plug this flash drive into other Windows computers, that letter will not be preserved. It will just do the lettering like it normally does. It's only for this specific computer. So if you use a laptop and a desktop, you'll want to assign the same letter on both machines. So together we can format drives, we can change the drive letter, and that's a very routine process for me when I buy a new external hard drive or a new flash drive. As soon as I take it out of the box, I run these two steps and I'm ready to go.